so this is like a little video I was making because I don't know I feel like YouTube is like my little family so yeah and anyway and I don't really have anybody to talk to I'm not gonna lie I'm a bit of a sado um and I'm going to make a video later on about because I'm quite upbeat at the moment but behind closed doors I'm dealing with a lot of emotions so I would like to make a video of properly in depth dealing with how to deal with a chemical pregnancy but this video isn't about that um this video is just kind of like an open chat an open debate um I know that I've got at least one returning subscriber hello John if you're watching this um and this is just a video about how yesterday apparently we shifted from third dimensional reality to the fifth dimensional reality now I was having quite a low day yesterday and I was wondering if um, other people were experiencing that as well because I think the reason why it happened is because all that no longer served us needed to fall away in order to be reborn about like in order say for example if you had a miscarriage yesterday which I'm not saying that anybody did then the reason that might have been would be because you were not ready for that baby and you did not necessarily plan on that baby coming into your life at that time and it was it was kind of like a, a test to show you what would have happened what what would have happened on the future of the planet earth if that did go to plan and to show you that you are still very much I don't know that's because that's not exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about that. I think I'm getting a bit too focused on one subject. All I'm saying is if something did not work out for you yesterday, it's to show you that it won't not ever work out, but why your body and your mind isn't aligning to that, if that makes sense. So oh, I feel like I don't really want to talk about my personal things on here, but if if you didn't want something, and it happened and then that thing that you didn't want got taken away from you perhaps it's a blessing in disguise to show you that the next time you have something given to you it's going to be when you've worked for it when you've put all of the energy in for it when you have done the the grafting and the hard work not just randomly appearing out of nowhere and Oh, this must be it that's good because that was to show you say for example if it was a relationship say for example if you had a relationship materialize and then all of a sudden you broke up out of the blue out of nowhere and you thought whoa hold on I thought this was my chance this was it's not to say that that relationship is never gonna work or that you're never gonna work in a relationship or that you're never gonna be a good teacher I don't know why I thought of a teacher I, I was thinking of a head teacher getting a job at a school so perhaps uh, you didn't get the job at the school that you wanted to get the job at or perhaps you didn't get the job that you wanted to get but that's to show you that you were rushing things you asked and the universe gave you but the universe gave you to show you that you were not ready you don't want to start making karmic debt again because you've only just gotten yourself out of those severe karmic debts so you don't want to start putting yourself into karmic debt again. So that was just a message there with the red flash coming through. That was just a message to make sure that you ground yourself and make sure that you stay focused on what it is exactly that you were trying to create and start taking small steps, even if it's just baby steps towards creating that reality, because otherwise you're going to be thrown onto different timelines that there are different timelinings precisely about seven on earth that will coexist on the same not on the same timeline because it's not the same timeline but at the same so the past present future whatever you want to call it there is nothing that that's a, just an illusion that the illuminati placed on you 
So there are more than seven possible outcomes of every choice and reaction that you make. So just bear that in mind. Now, knowing that we are seventh dimensional beings, we actually have the ability to be able to think about all of those first. But first of all, you have to heal all of your chakras, because if you've got any trauma in any of those seven realms, then these chakras are the seven realms, by the way. If you have any trauma in them, then you won't be able to actually see into those realms clearly. Now, that is all I'm going to say for today. So this is just basically an ascension update on the energies from, I want to say the 21st, but I'm actually, I've not been really tapping into the Illuminati timelines. I've more been going along my own timelines. 